and it's it is destroying our country. It is that the perpetual wars are hurting other countries. Every country that we fought a war in is worse off than we found it. Um, we're losing our friends abroad. We're seeing the rise of BRICS, which is going to further undermine the American dollar by attacking its status as the world reserve currency, as the word world's trade currency, as the world's safe haven. And we're already seeing many nations begin to unload the, their dollars. And when that happens, there's going to be a cascading effect. And we're going to see inflation uh, catch up with all the money printing that we've been doing. Inflation is theft. It's a way for politicians to pay for projects that they, you know, for vanity projects like wars. So they don't have to come to us in advance and say, oh, I'm going to make a war, I'm going to overthrow Saddam Hussein, or I'm going to make a war in, uh, in Ukraine. And you are going to, your children are going to be less educated, they're going to have less opportunity, your bills are going to be higher, and I, we're going to take a certain, we're going to take a, a bigger chunk of your income to pay for it. If they had to do that in advance, we wouldn't have any wars. None of the, the only war we would have had is World War II in the last hundred years. We wouldn't have had any other wars if people had to pay for it in advance. But instead, what they do is they don't even declare war anymore. They just start a war and then they print the money. And, and they don't have to ask our permission, they just start printing it. And that devalues the money in your social security check. It is theft. It is a, it's an attack, it's a regressive tax, and it's an attack on the poor and on people with fixed incomes. I'm gonna unravel the military industrial complex, I'm gonna unravel the war machine, I'm going to close many of the 800 bases that we have abroad. I'm going to protect, I'm going to give America better protection at home around its borders. I'm going to make us too expensive to ever invade. We can, we can protect the sea lanes, the neutral areas like the Antarctic. We can have a two strike capacity elsewhere in the world. A much more effective military for half the price. And that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to I'm going to wind down the chronic disease epidemic, which is affecting now 60 percent of Americans. And uh, we can end it. We can end it very quickly. And that's costing us four point three trillion dollars a year. That's five times our military budget. Uh, not only can we end it, we have to because, um, you know, Social Security is not a um, it's not a a charity. It's not a philanthropy. It's an entitlement. You, you know, it's a contract. You worked all your life and you gave money to your account with the promise that that was going to be paid back to you. And now the government is going to default on that, that commitment, uh, not under my watch. Uh, but, you know, we've, we've had other priorities in our country and now the social security system is on the edge of insolvency, and we can still save it, but we need to act quick, quickly. And I don't think any other presidential candidate is going to do that. But for me, it's a top priority.